only took a few minutes, and Cardenas had an interpreter but remained silent when the judge asked him if there was anything he had to say. His wife, Kimberly, the victim's sister, ran from the court in tears afterwards and didn't say anything. That wasn't the case when Cardenas was arraigned back in April of last year. She ran toward him, screaming as he left the town court. Her rage was fueled by the fact that her own husband had murdered her teenage sister. Today in court, Judge James Punch told Cardenas, such a depraved and disturbed series of acts, and as evil as this was, you've written your own ticket. He gave Cardenas the maximum, 25 to life, but the judge also indicated it wasn't enough, meaning he wished he could, uh, that he could sentence Cardenas so he would never get a chance to get out of prison. We're going to hear from his attorney after the Orleans County DA said that justice cried out for the maximum. Well, this was an ugly homicide. Uh, the, the manner in which Mr. Cardenas treated his victim before uh, her death, during the time he was killing her, and after uh, uh, she died is just something that, as a prosecutor, I'll never forget. Again, that's such a difficult question to ask about whether or not it's fair, whether it's justice. I mean, this 15-year-old girl is dead. She's always going to be dead. By the same token, my client's a 22-year-old whose entire life is now going to be in the Department of Corrections, in essence. So is it fair? I don't know. It, it, it seems to be what justice calls for in this case. Cardenas' attorney said that he has expressed sadness and remorse. Also, he is an illegal immigrant. So if he ever is released from prison, there's probably a good chance that he would be deported. And, Ray, do we know a motive for why he killed his sister-in-law? Well, supposedly, after raping her, she was going to tell what he had done. He decided to strangle her and bury her body in an orchard. Even his attorney said the girl's body was treated in a very disrespectful manner right, after yeah, her yeah, death. We were listening to that soundbite. Ray Lovato, yeah. thank you.